Is topical estrogen the secret to reversing skin aging and should you be using it? Today, I'm answering all of your most commonly asked questions about topical estrogen, including results, safety, how to use it, and where to get it. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis, and I'm a board-certified dermatologist in Northern California, and I'm here to help you understand your skin and find products that work for you. So if you like that type of content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm really excited. Today's video is in partnership with Alloy Women's Health. They are a direct-to-consumer menopause healthcare company that is really revolutionizing the way women have access to information and expertise regarding menopause care. As a woman and as a female physician who takes care of other women, I've seen what the transition from from perimenopause through menopause really does to a woman in so many different ways, to their skin, which of course I see as a cosmetic dermatologist, but also to their mental health, their bone health, their cardiac health. And for so long, I feel like women were not well taken care of through that perimenopause and menopausal period. And I'm all about companies that are giving women options and not just any old options. I'm talking about options that are safe, that are science backed and that are comprehensive because there are so many different changes that women go through in menopause and perimenopause. And those all deserve to be taken seriously. If you're unfamiliar, estrogen is a sex hormone that affects so many different body systems of a female. It's not just about reproductive health and the amount of estrogen we have in our bodies fluctuates throughout our lifetimes. It changes over the course of our period. It changes when we get pregnant. But as we approach and go through menopause, we get this very sharp drop off in our systemic estrogen. Essentially, as you approach and go through menopause, your skin can become estrogen deficient and estrogen deficient skin tends to be dry, crepey, less supple, have more fine lines and wrinkles and be more prone to irritation. And what a lot of women would describe to me was not this gradual decreasing in the appearance of their skin, but literally their skin was fine and one day they woke up and it just wasn't anymore. And yes, we can attribute some of those changes to the natural aging process and the accumulation of UV damage. And maybe you've just had a couple of babies and so you're not feeling your best. But with that sharp decline in skin's appearance that is often coupled by maybe like not feeling like yourself anymore, we cannot neglect the effects of estrogen there. And if you have specific questions about how estrogen affects the skin, I have an entire deep dive that I highly encourage you to check out. And physicians, especially those who are interested in menopausal care are starting to realize, hey, if we replace estrogen in the body or we supplement with topical estrogen in the skin, we can reverse some of those estrogen deficient changes. And I feel like the reason people have really shied away from estrogen for so long is this big fear around estrogen leading to things like uterine cancer or ovarian cancer or breast cancer. And we'll delve a little bit into the science of that, but the reality is people are much more scared of estrogen than they need to be. The dangers of estrogen, both systemically and topically, have essentially been overhyped based on some really poor research that's been done in the past. And the benefits of estrogen, both topically and systemically, vastly outweigh the true risk. And I think because of this misinformation combined with essentially a void of information around estrogen, especially as it relates to topicals and skincare, there are so many questions that have arisen around how do we use topical estrogen? Is it worthwhile to use topical estrogen? And that's what we're really going to get into today. And I'm not trying to say that topical estrogen is a miracle, but it has certainly been a missing piece of the puzzle for a long time. One question I get a lot is when do you know if it's time for you to start considering topical estrogen? I would say certainly if you start to have signs of approaching menopause, and just to give you a rough estimate, a lot of women start to experience that in their mid forties, but it's going to vary a lot. Some people start experiencing perimenopausal symptoms in their late thirties. Some don't experience it until their fifties. And some of these signs might be things like new mood changes, irritability, difficulty sleeping, as well as the things you think about more traditionally with menopause, like hot flashes, for example. Also, of course, if you're noticing that your skin suddenly is not looking as good as it once was, and you're in that general age category, you may want to start considering it. And when I'm talking about topical estrogen, I'm talking about topical estrogen applied locally to areas like under the eyes, the face, the neck, the tops of the hands, areas where you're starting to see signs of premature skin aging. This is estrogen that's not meant to be systemically absorbed, but just work in the areas that it's applied. This is of course something you could talk about with your dermatologist, though I will say not every dermatologist may be on board with topical estrogen. It's relatively new to the conversation. It's also where engaging with an online women's health platform like Alloy, for example, could be really helpful. Now I can't speak to every online health platform, my personal experience experience has been with Alloy Women's Health, but with that company, for example, you can have a menopause consultation. So you can ask those types of questions like, 
Am I ready for it? What should I be thinking about? And also in that conversation, it may come up whether or not you're ready for systemic hormone therapy as well and answer questions you have about that. The reality is not every physician out there is well-trained in menopausal care. It's something that we got very little education on in medical school. And so having access to a doctor that is specializing in menopause care for women can be incredibly insightful. And something to keep in mind is menopause is a long transition. This is not something that happens over months. It's something that happens over years. So having a connection to a doctor that can take care of you through that time, and maybe as a supplement to your OBGYN that you go to regularly is great. In the past, when I've posted about topical estrogen, I often get a lot of comments like, where can I get this online? Or what's a store that I can get this from? Topical estrogen is a prescription always in the United States. If you go on Amazon and you type in estrogen cream, you're gonna be served up a lot of stuff, but absolutely do not buy those products. You have no idea what's in them. They are not regulated. If you are getting topical estrogen and you live in the United States, it needs to be prescribed to you. Now, if you're watching this video and maybe you're in your 50s or 60s or 70s, you already went through menopause and you're wondering, hmm, could topical estrogen still benefit me? The reality is, yes, it could. And again, that is a great opportunity to connect with a menopause professional to ask these types of questions and have everything comprehensively addressed. Another question I get a lot is what type of topical estrogen should I be using? So the most common one used in topical preparations are either estriol or estradiol. You may have heard of estradiol before because estradiol cream is used intravaginally to help with things like atrophy or what is now known as genitourinary syndrome of menopause. Like I mentioned earlier, estrogen affects so many different tissues in the body and the vaginal skin is one of them. It can dry out, become thinner and make women more prone to things like urinary tract infections, painful sexual intercourse. And we use estradiol estradiol intravaginally to thicken up the vaginal wall and make things more comfortable and optimize women's health outcomes. And before estrogen had been formulated in more cosmetically elegant ways to use on the face or around the eyes, for example, women were taking topical estradiol meant for intravaginal use and applying it to their face. And that's not to say you couldn't still do that. A prescription of vaginal estradiol can be used essentially anywhere on the body, but it's not really a cream that's designed for the face. And so I would not say it's the most cosmetically elegant. So so that's estradiol. Then there is estriol, which is essentially a weaker form of estrogen. And even though estriol is technically a weaker form of estrogen, what studies have shown is that when it's applied topically to affect local changes in the skin, it acts quite similarly. Also, if estriol is systemically absorbed, it's not converted into estradiol, which is the more active form of estrogen in the system. When we talk about use of topical estrogen, another question that often comes up is, well, am I going to have systemic absorption of that estrogen? Now, this can vary widely based on what what compound you're using. But for example, prescription vaginal estradiol, when applied as directed, shows no signs of systemic absorption. And that's when it's applied to a mucosal surface, which is much thinner and much more absorptive than skin. And so for a while, we've been extrapolating that, okay, if you can apply topical estradiol to vaginal skin and not get systemic absorption, then you should be fine applying small amounts of topical estriol, which is weaker than estradiol, to small areas of facial skin and not get systemic absorption. Now, I really appreciate that Alloy kind of took this a step further. They actually tested their topical estriol product, which is called M4, to see if it led to any systemic absorption over the course of three months, and it didn't. Now, I have some patients who are really on top of their skin aging. They wanna be optimizing everything, so they might be coming in in their 20s or their 30s and going, well, can I benefit from topical estrogen even though I'm not approaching menopause yet? And what I would say is you have to remember why we're using estrogen. We are using it to supplement the skin when it has become become estrogen deficient. So if you're not at the point in your life where your skin has become estrogen deficient, the chance that it's going to benefit you is much lower. Now we know it's perfectly safe to use it, so you could try it. There's really no harm in doing that, but I think it's going to be diminishing returns. Now, if you do decide to incorporate topical estrogen, I think it's really important to answer the question of, well, what benefits should I expect to see and how long should it take for me to see those benefits? Now, depending on the studies you look at, topical estrogen seems to help with a variety of different skin changes. We see improvements in roughness, skin firmness, elasticity, hydration. So basically all of the aging parameters that you could hope for. Now I'm talking a lot about the potential benefits of topical estrogen, but we always have to keep in mind that anytime we're applying anything to the skin, there's also a risk of side effects. Now the side effects when it comes to topical estrogen have been very minimal, like 
Irritation is something we always think about, but again, not very common. I think also when it comes to estrogen, people wonder about whether or not it will flare their melasma because we know melasma and that irregular pigmentation can be triggered by hormone exposure. And again, I really appreciate Alloy for studying their M4 estriol cream because what it showed is that it did not increase melanin or pigmentation in the skin over the course of three months of use. Now that's not to say that because it didn't happen in the study, it couldn't happen to you. So for example, I am very prone to melasma. It's something I deal with. When I get to the point in my life where I start using topical estrogen, it's certainly something I'm going to be on the lookout for, but I also understand that if it were to flare my melasma, that's something that I can also deal with. Also, you can apply estrogen to places where melasma doesn't tend to show up, like under the eyes and on the neck and get benefits there. Another question I got a lot when I talked about topical estrogen was, well, if I'm already on systemic hormone therapy, like HRT or MHT, is there additional benefit to using topical estrogen? And that answer is yes, and it does doesn't increase your systemic estrogen exposure either because again, we know that this is not absorbed systemically. And that's really not that surprising because women who are in hormone therapy also tend to need to use topical vaginal estradiol to help with symptoms in that area. So even though you're getting a nice systemic dose of estrogen, it might not always reach the surface of the skin where you could see additional benefits. Now let's get into practical considerations here. If you want to use topical estrogen, where do you put it in your skincare routine? In general, when you're building a skincare routine, we are often working from the thinnest water-based things up towards the thickest, heaviest creams. That's an easy way to layer that's going to feel good on the skin. And you can kind of take that into consideration depending on what topical estrogen formula you are using. If you're using something that's thin and watery, you might wanna put it on earlier in your routine. If you're using Alloy's M4 cream, which is kind of a nice plushy cream, you may use it where you would normally use a moisturizer. Now I would say if you have oily skin, you could use it instead of your moisturizer, but if you have dry skin, putting a moisturizer on top of your estrogen, I think would still be beneficial. Official. And people always wanna clarify if they're using a retinoid product like tretinoin, where do you put that in your routine? And I would say you could really layer your topical estrogen under or over your tretinoin or whatever retinoid you're using. It's not really gonna make a difference. Do what feels good on your skin. And I guess that kind of answers the next question that I was gonna talk about, which is can you use topical retinoids like tretinoin and estriol together? And yes, definitely you can. And honestly, you should. These topicals rejuvenate the skin through different mechanisms and they're going to build on each other's positive effects. I know I mentioned earlier in this video that topical estrogen meant for local application to the skin does not put you at a risk for systemic absorption, but I wanna be very explicit here because a question I get often is, okay, if I have had breast cancer, can I still use topical estrogen? And the answer is yes, it is generally considered safe. And again, that is because you are not getting that systemic absorption. Same goes for if you have a history of blood clots or strokes. A lot of times women are told that they can't use estrogen products if they are prone to blood clots, but when it comes to topical estrogen, it does not pass systemically. And even more so if it was absorbed systemically because some topical estrogen is meant to be absorbed systemically, it doesn't pass through your liver, which means it doesn't put you at a higher risk for a blood clot. And again, this is where I feel like using an online Online health platform can be so helpful. The other thing that I really love about Alloy is that everyone you're interacting with is either an MD or a DO, so they are a doctor specializing in menopause care. That also means if you have a really complex medical history or you have some questions about whether it's safe for you and your unique situation, because every body is different, that person is a trained physician and they can take your entire health history into account when deciding and helping you decide if estrogen is right for you in any form. And the last question I'm going to answer about topical estrogen, and I got this a surprising number of times, is can men use topical estrogen? And you can, but I would not expect to see a ton of benefit because remember, we are using topical estrogen to supplement estrogen deficient skin. And men don't go through menopause. They don't become estrogen deficient, and so they're not seeing the same skin changes that women do. Now, if you are interested in using topical estrogen after watching this video, and you're interested in getting it from Alloy Women's Health, go ahead and check the description box for details. I have a little deal for you. Would you try topical estrogen? Have you? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. I love this community so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.